Hello everyone, I'm KDT and this is the audio version of the blog which I have been released and the title of the blog is New Mall by Steel's Banking Passwords. Today I'm going to be talking about a very important model which has been released on the internet to get hold of all the banking passwords, private data and keystrokes. The name of the virus is Evenbot. So this has been at least recently at uh, March 2020, it has been found by the researchers and uh, this bot acts as like a legitimate application to steal all the user credentials and information related to banking, passwords and stuff. First, let's understand what is malware. Malware is a virus which acts as a legitimate application to collect the data of the users. For example, when you install a malware which, is, uh, which acts like Facebook application, the Facebook application will be open and uh, you'll be, you can operate your account or you can go get your account in the Facebook application and use, you can use it as normal. But at the same time, at the background, it does is that what it does is that it runs the malware at the background, which collects all the data related to your banking credentials and uh, your account's information and stuff, and transports the information to the hacking machine. So the machine with which the hacker uses to hack your computer or your Android device. The even what malware was discovered recently that it acts as an Adobe Flash or Microsoft Word to cheat people. The main motive of this malware is that it steals all the info related to banking and stuff. This also records all the keystrokes that you get. So this is known as keylogger application in technical term. And uh, keylogger acts as a application or a file which records all your keystrokes. For example, you type uh, you type your username and password in your Facebook.com the account, your account username and password. It will be automatically captured by the keylogger and sent to the hacker's machine. And next. This malware is firstly discovered on March 2020, as I said, and this one is present in the websites which we used to download apps on the internet. So this malware doesn't. Uh, anyway, the malware and viruses are all not available in the Google Play Store. This only comes and uh, stings to your phone when you install some um, apps, some apps and or games or modded apps from unknown sources, like unknown websites from the internet give you some modded apps and games that you install. So at the same time, that, along with the app, the malware will cling to your app and it acts as a virus. The best way to be safe from this malware is that install apps only from Play Store and avoid other sources. So this malware is exclusively for Android and it's a grace for the iOS users because it does not affect the iOS phones and this malware affects only the Android users. This is a serious issue because the app steals the banking credentials to get hack our bank accounts. Also. Uh, you know, it's a general issue that when an app, like for example, let's take Truecaller, it asks permissions. At the first time when you install Truecaller, it asks permissions that allow video, allow video recording, allow call recordings. That's uh, that's not um, actually anything suspicious, but it's asking you to allow video recording or permission. It does not. Um, Truecaller doesn't have anything to do with video recording. It always records the calls and it uh, shows the caller ID from the internet, the database which it has. And it does nothing to do with video recording, so that's a suspicious permission. So you should not allow it. Only allow permissions which is relevant to your app. So be safe and uh, subscribe to the push notifications for the updates as the email subs subscriptions has been removed from the website due to some issues. And uh, please free to please feel free free to post your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you.